we are going to look at the work of Pierre Mondrian today for our lesson in maths. Um, before we begin, I do want to make sure that you have watched one or both of the YouTube videos. If you haven't done that, please do so now. For this lesson today, you are going to need um, your seesaw because the whole activity is on seesaw and you can do that. But if you have at home, you will need a graph paper, yellow marker or pencil crayon, red, black, blue, ruler, and everyone will need a pencil and a piece of paper. Next, we're going to look at these two fractions. Think carefully about the relationship they have to one another. If you have the answer, you can say it to a screen, or if you're in a chat, you can tell a friend. If you said they were equivalent fractions, you are correct. And in Mondrian's work, we see many equivalent fractions. So they look a lot like this. So I colored in the smaller equivalent fraction because as a smaller denominator I color it red and with the larger denominator I colored it blue. This I would like you to do when you are working on seesaw or on your own uh, Mondrian art on paper. So no matter what if you're doing it on paper or if you're doing your Mondrian art on seesaw I would like you to now plan out a small piece of Mondrian art using equivalent fractions. I would like you to have six equivalent fractions in your art and I will show you how to do this now. So the first thing I'll want to do is in a, find six places on my um, grid paper of where I can have six equivalent fractions. So I'm going to start with the one that you saw before. I'm going to begin by doing a two quarter and a one half. I'm going to color in my Mondrian art using blue for a larger denominator and red for a smaller denominator. So you can see this is my first uh, equivalent fraction on my Mondrian art. I would like you to do at least three equivalent fractions up to six equivalent fractions on your art. fractions, I would like you to find some creativity, uh, put some random yellow uh, squares or shapes inside, um, and then we're going to use black to kind of create more art. Afterwards, we'll label these three um, equivalent fractions to show what they are. Mondrian art is not quite finished, but it's on its way. 
The last thing I will do is label the fractions. If I want to create some more fractions, equivalent fractions as I go, that's fine. So let me just show you how I would label these fractions. So I see my first fraction here is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is two, six. So I can just write two, six, okay. which is the equivalent of one third. So then I would do the same for my fraction down here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I have 6 twelfths and 1, 2, 3, 6. Last one is the first one we did, which if you remember was 2 quarters. So I'm going to continue making my art really beautiful and getting it to the point where it looks just like a Mondrian and I will sell it and quit teaching forever and live like a rich woman. Lol, just kidding. Miss you. Bye.